okay greetings of the day and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you how we refill the air in this rock shop solo air this is a suspension if you want to buy it you will get it from bums on sale choose my bicycle the cost of this is 27000 okay so what's the speciality of the suspension i'm going to tell you in detail this side has oil this side has limited oil and air mixture in it so it helps you to absorb that bump okay so first of all i'm going to show you the remote lockout which is out here the suspension without opening the lockout is not going to work i'll show you now see it's getting stuck once i click the button you can hear that click is gone to the unlock position now it's going to start pumping Now, how do we refill the air in the suspension? So, in this side, we have the air button. Once you start pulling out the air, let me remove the air from it so you can have a look. Now, you can see it's totally flat and compressed. So, this is a special pump which I have. As you see, once I start filling up the air, automatically the suspension will start lifting. Now it's full as per my requirement. Now let me show you a look around what exactly it looks like. Now on this side we have this remote lockout button. Once I click this button, this position came from lock to unlock. Then the suspension will start moving. Now I'm going to tell you the speciality of this suspension. As you can see, it's written rebound. And on this side we have is the rabbit. And this side we have the turtle. That means if you want to go fast or slow, you can adjust. Right now I'm on putting it on the stiffer side. So it's on the turtle. Once I start clicking, there are three different modes. One will be a little bit stiffer. Now it's gonna be on the rabbit mode. That means the rebound will be fast. This side is very special. This says 120 mm travel and a solo air. So there's a cartridge which is filled with oil with a mixture of air in it last but not the least as you can see there is written the spring right is gonna be showing the rider weight the second line will show you what pressure you need to have in the suspension the third one is and the third one will show you the limit if you exceed the limit or you under the limit of the air pressure the suspension will be not functioning properly so there's a meter to gauge this thing and last not the least very important since i told you it's not a mtb it's compared to a enduro downhill bike so it falls in a category of cost country so that's a sign how we have MTB for mountain terrain bike. This one says XC. That means it's cross country 30. Alright. From here you can even upgrade it to XC 40. 
it's all about your budget all right so very soon i'm gonna make a video about how i'm gonna refill the oil in this hydraulic disc brake all right so see you soon